For 4a, they want us to simplify i to the 239th power. Now, before we jump into this, here's something that you need to know. Okay, if you have i to the zero, anything to the zero power is equal to one. i to the first power, of course, is just gonna be i. If you have i squared, then i squared is equal to negative one because by definition, your i is equal to the square root of negative one. So if you square that both sides, you get negative one there. i cubed, you'll get negative i. Now, if you were to go and do i to the fourth power, you would get back down to one again, and what would happen is the pattern keeps repeating. So you've got this block of, of four that keeps repeating over and over again. So for 239, what we wanna do is we wanna first, since uh, this repeats every four times, you're gonna take 239 and divide it by four. So these kind of problems where you're simplifying i to a certain power, you're always gonna start by dividing by four. Every time, divide by four. Again, the reason why, the pattern repeats every four times. The same four things would just repeat itself over again as I go through here. So again, what we'll do is 239, I'm gonna divide it by four, and I wanna find out what my remainder is. My remainder is, is gonna to have to be either zero, one, two, or three, uh, and I'll be able to indicate which that is on my list. So I do this, this one goes in five times here, subtract this, 39, uh, and I can do a nine there, that's 36, and then subtract that, I get a remainder of three. So because I get a remainder of three, what I can say is that i to the 239th power is the same thing as i cubed. But that's also equal to negative i. And so the, what I would put on, on the test for the answer there uh, would be negative nine, or negative i. So you divide by four, whatever the remainder is, that's the new power that's on there, and then you just look at the list and see which one of those it simplifies to. Okay, for 4b, we're doing another one of these again where you have i raised to a certain power. As I talked about before, you have this set of four that keeps repeating, so you wanna make sure you know, you know this pattern. We're gonna take 108 and divide it by four. And we wanna find out what the remainder is. So we have two, it goes in there twice, we get a two left over, Let's try to bring down the eight, and then that's gonna go in uh, seven times. And this particular one, we don't have a remainder. We have a remainder of zero. Okay, now that means that i to the 100, 108 is the same thing as i to the zero, but from our list, we see that i to the zero is equal to one. So you would put one down uh, as your final answer on this one.